So I think we're live. Probably. We're live. Cool. We're live. Hello, I see hello, it. hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, just give me one minute to share this. You guys can maybe start for a minute while I just do a couple of things. And, and Gula, if you want to share it on your page. Yeah. I'm just that's gonna... cool too. Hi, everyone. So we came, we're here uh, this afternoon and we're speaking with David and myself and Goli. And today we wanted to go over um, why it's important to have a Sangha or a group or a community. And uh, we wanted uh, Goli's perspective. We've been going on live every couple of days, but we wanted Goli's perspective on why it's important to have you know, people that kind of know what you're going through mm -hmm. and why that matters in 2020, the rest of 2020. Gola, do you want to kind of share with everybody your process of how you process things? Uh, yeah. So as, as a helper, healer type of person, I've always thought, you know, stepping into um, that helping role or even developing my like business or being a mom, like all of these things, I feel like all these roles and responsibilities are on my shoulders and I got to get it all done. It's all in me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, and I got to produce, I got to keep kind of giving, giving, giving. Right. And I've never yeah. thought I could actually lean on people that understand me, that can cheer me on in a really deep, meaningful way, you know, and um, like I've, friends, family, they're always like, yeah, we see you, we see you, we see you, right? Like go, go, go. And um, which is such a blessing. But on the professional level, you know, when you pay for like business coaches or things like that, you're like, okay, so there's a, there's a level of like learning technical skills and that kind of thing. But that deeper, like seeing your essence, as you say, Stacy, and uh, encouraging you to go with your intuitive tugs, as you say, David, like, I mean, I know she, you learned that from Stacy. Like, I don't know, but I got that from you. <laughs> that's, our language, that's our language, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? And so, and then seeing that you guys have linked this um, ability to be connected to your inner voice, your inner essence, your intuitive, intuitive, uh, intuition and following that and that it can also, you know, create success and abundance and alignment and all of these opportunities and collaborations in the form you know on earth yeah. so it's not yeah. just like spiritual up in the sky like woo woo or whatever people you know refer to it as but you've also made it very like practical it's like practical spirituality you know yeah. and yeah. having sangha people who i don't know i've just gotten your experience and, and when you did the igniter series the intuitive warrior i was like what all these people are so like relaxed and then you know i'm all about group therapy and group like cohesion in person i'm like how are they able to like transmute transmit all of this energy virtually you know what i mean and so i've just been really um like so blessed to have the encouragement from you guys to actually listen to my heart i've always been kind of in my head learning the skills um, not trying to like transfer my emotions too much to clients and, you know, be more like just give and one way street. And then to be able to like lean on people who, who get you, who believe in you. I'm like, how do we just meet? Like, <laughs> you know, I, I've only recently gone to know you better, Stacy and David, I think it was a few months ago, maybe just a few months. Yeah. yeah. But I think when there's that like alignment, you feel like you've known them forever. It's like a, soul to soul connection if i may say that it's you know? true no it's true yeah so. um david do you want to say anything well I, yeah i wanted to share what's really been coming through for us like massive clarity is that this is the last couple months of 2020 is all about the sangha it's all about the community and so if you start tuning into the wisdom teachers you're here that they're, they're all saying it because it's just been a really crazy rough 2020 right and um, a tumultuous a tumultuous 2020 and we really need to be held and seen and the healers and the teachers and the social workers and the counselors and the coaches, like they need to be, they need to be held and seen and taken care of. And I, I know for just, I can feel it so incredibly clearly that when 2021 rolls around, if you can spend your time in, in groups and like really powerful groups with yeah. the right people that yeah. you're going to unleash in 2021, like you're going to be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. You need the, we all need support, no matter what conscious level we're at, no matter who we are, we're people, you know, so 
part of that human experience is to have connection, this interconnectedness. And at this stage of the series that we're running, um, you know, the old way of, we would call it a masterclass, you know, something where we would really, really deep dive into a particular area or subject. And this particular um, area of focus is really on your insides and your inner energy. So you might already be a coach or a therapist and you're, you know, you're doing well, you're having a great time, but um, you really want to take your, um, your intuition and guidance and all the little extra things that we have as spiritual beings and take it to the next level. And David and I really honed in on that. And um, what we found is after doing this inner work and also having the support of each other, what happened was very organically, our intuition became very heightened in a way that was very seamless and effortless when we were putting content or series out, like none of it was a formula. So David and I are really clear, we wanna be really clear that there are actually um, in, this, in this new game, in this new era, in this new earth, there are no formulas. So what we're delving into is taking a group of people that are basically highly conscious people and successful and busy, um, or they just quit their job and are ready to take it to the next level. And we want to hold them in the highest light mm -hmm. and help them incorporate some of the next level um, tools that we've used. So you yourself can shed all that you're not and then see what arrives. And then when it arrives, as it arises, we're here with you witnessing it to support you. So um, to have someone like Goalie um, say yes to this group was precise. It was absolutely, yeah. Dance, universe. dance time, dance time. Yo, Goalie universe. said yes. Yo, universe. <laughs> oh, universe is precise, Goalie. Yes. And so we're honored to have you. Oh, I'm so blessed to have you. And I actually seen your relationship, how, how it's evolved, you know, as you talk about boxering back and forth from you know the beginning of COVID basically and just that like how I see your programs are just being birthed out of that connection and how you're living what you're what you're not preaching but you know what I mean like you're actually <laughs> yeah. Lit, walking walk. it, yeah. You're yeah. Walking it. exactly I love that word um and then with with David the way I, I met you was I had made a post on Holly Hall's post about, you know, the new, you know, education system and that. And I'm like, oh, this is like my dream, you know? And then you're like, took action. You're like, here, let's get on a lot. We need to talk. We had this magical conversation, like bursting with energy. I don't know how long, I think it was like over an hour conversation. And then we did a live and it's just, what I think when you, when you know that you're aligned, you get this like heat energy just flowing through you. You can't stop talking. It's like idea <laughs> after idea, like the creative juices, everything, I think all the channels open and the flow of energy, of creativity, of solutions, um, which is right now the most important time. Like I'm like, please help me help my own family. Like I think it's like that emoji, like the heart out, like figuring out yourself, mm. your own emotions, all that yeah. stuff releasing your own fears as I think feel good or someone said that the the, the fear is like hiding in a lot of the humanities like psyche it's like deeply yeah. embedded in the subconscious mind and this is the time to bring it all up to the surface so we can all see yeah. it and it's yeah. happening globally so I'm like if this yeah. is this powerful global shift of fear being like you know weeded out it's like we need to be able to join together and not have our fears like crush us because fear is like a dense you know gravity type of energy that pulls you down so needing this kind of song of the people who like you can share your fears acknowledge your fears and work through them release them have a way to be supported in that process um it, it's like it's all about building that trust and that fuels your own inner trust which is intuition you know what i yes. mean yes yeah okay. and goalie you um you you the moment you said yes intuitively it's like you were just supercharged. Like we've been watching her like, oh my gosh, she's just bam. Like she's yeah, literally something like just happened to her. And I'm like, yeah. what? So, and this just happened with several of the people that have joined the Sangha. It's like the moment they say yes to the universe and they say yes to themselves, it's like all of a yeah. sudden they're just like charged. They're just charged. I just, I just want to hear you talk about that because it's so exciting to watch. Yeah. Well, I'm like on some, on some levels, I'm like, 
okay, are they like sending me energy? Like, as you know, the power of prayer <laughs> and stuff. I feel like when you like join forces, like energetically speaking, it's like, it's like the channels like that you two have, it's like being kind of like shared. It's like, it's like opening up. You know what I mean? Like, I believe in, in that you're sending that love, that light to other people. And then they start to like open up and, and receive like abundance and stuff. So I don't know. It's just, and I think it's really confirming over and over, like the way to get to your intuition is like, for me, it's like meditation. And I found these Oracle cards, like we all are finding our own way, whether it's like from healers, like clairvoyant people who, you know, give you your messages or through these cards. I'm like, how are these cards so accurate? Like I know blows my mind, you know what I mean? But it's just finding a way to connect to your inner voice and then when you start to like listen to it it's like it's strengthening you know what i mean so i'm like as soon as i get confirmation i'm like oh, it's working you know like you, you get proof you get like little bits of like evidence that keeps yeah. like keeps building that momentum in inside of you and then makes you want to keep going on the practice like i've been told since i was five you know uh pray namaz, namaz is like the you know like prayer and and meditate and just 20 minutes a day like i've known it up here mm -hmm. But something was missing in terms of seeing the, the benefit. I would see it in, in the moment that I would do it. I would always go to groups. I'm like, I need to go to like group yoga. I need to go to like group uh, chants and prayers and like in Sufi school and stuff like that. Like I need to do it in a group or in mosque. Like when I went back home, I was like, oh my God, it's like a vibration in this mosque, you know, like you just feel it, but yes. not on my own, like just sitting. So it's like I had this external validation, like need and, and validation requirement from outside and I think like you guys are living proof and then you kind of gave it to me and then it kind of gave me more and more um like drive to like go in and listen because I'm like if these guys are doing it it's working for them I love the playfulness like David's like inner child is out and happy and playful I'm like, that is the yeah health. Been you way know? Too long. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> Stacy's like already done like all that like success of like empowering women and in the sales field and she's like you know what I'm gonna pivot you know I'm and help like build people up from the inside out for you know if that's accurate yeah, but that is accurate right I'm like so that's that's what it is it's like you guys keep showing up as who you are and with the evidence and then I start to you know do little bits and I start to see hints and hints I'm like oh my gosh what's happening and then that connection just uh strengthens you know, so we wanted, whole, we, yeah. yeah, go ahead, Stacey. We no, wanted, no. you know how, like, there's like, I don't know, there, I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. So you know how there's like an account that you have a job and you're an accountant and yeah. um, you're really good at math and you can do everybody's math, but then like, you don't, your account is not good. Um, and so, <laughs> and you know, and so, so what, what David and I wanted to do was we wanted to make sure we were, we were embodying what we were taught. Yeah. And so like, that was like the critical piece. It's like, you could be a great therapist, but like, have you ever gone to therapy? You know what I mean? Like, oh. I want the person who is um, influencing me to be, you know, fully immersing themselves in their own work. Exactly. And, and, you know, and that's, I think what you're trying to say, it's like, it's obvious when people have done the inner work, Oh yeah. it becomes I'm very, very obvious. Yeah. And, I, and as I've, I've gone from like working with a nonprofit agency to start to like build a business and I'm like, what is going on with business? Because in nonprofit, I'm serving people without any financial exchange. You know what I mean? So that takes that whole piece of business, doing business out of the equation. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to start like marketing and, and sell myself and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, I need people to help me do this, but I want it to be from the heart. You know, like I want to, yeah. I want to attract the yes. heart centered people that put the heart and the relationship before the money, you know, That's and trust that the money and that generosity of spirit that you guys have, you know, when I told David, I'm like, okay, my first fear, I'm like, okay, I'm just starting out. I've already invested so much in my, you know, business, personal development, all these courses i'm like the you know serial course purchaser but like do like one or two and then just like not do the rest i'm like i need to do those i was like my little promise to myself so when that came in i'm like no no, no i made this promise i can't invest again when i have all these <laughs> unfinished like projects you know on the go but then he was just like you know um as i kept listening i'm like okay no my heart is like 
smiling. It's like, it's, it's giving me signals. They say you got like three brains, like this is like the one, but the heart is actually the biggest brain and it communicates more messages to the brain than the, than the other way around and then the yeah. gut brain but I was like I'm gonna start yes. to listen you know you have to kept saying like if you're feeling a, a yes if this is resonating I'm like yeah like it totally is you know I don't know why like the, so there's no logic <laughs> like logic tells no. me financially you can't do it right now like you got all these other projects on the go you got like it's it, you don't have the time <laughs> like all of these when and I think you said uh, in one of the other calls David that that was the main people's like concerns yeah. time and money right mm -hmm. But I was like, no, if I don't say yes to myself, then I'm not living the truth that I'm helping other people say to themselves. And that trust that, you know, you take the leap and then you trust that the rest will keep coming, coming, coming. And I'm like, I said, yes. And all of a sudden these opportunities are coming, you know, like our live yeah. events are happening and the, my friend, you know, teamed up and I'm just like, okay, they're right. They're onto something, these guys. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. And, fear that's that is so true so then I had to really let go of some people too who were not heart-centered like there was a lot of um you know learning lessons as I've already gone through the last since last year is when I started to kind of venture into my own be my own boss for the first time in my life like you know calling the shots and like yeah, yeah. having myself to answer to right and so yeah, yeah. finding people who are you know got their own stuff and I see how much people have been hurt in the business world which makes them think no pay me first money first um put that kind of like contract stuff which is fine I get it like we need to have boundaries and, and healthy limits but then when you switch and and do it from the heart and then believe that you're going to attract those heart-centered people where they put the relationship first where they put your success first um, I'm like, no, that's, that's what I want. So, I mean, that's totally <laughs> true. Yes. This yes. is like the whole, the whole, there's so many reasons, so many layers why we're doing this 90 days together. But one of the main reasons is so that we can really get people to feel so comfortable just saying yes to their intuitive tug and just going for it. Right. Like that, if that's the one thing you get from the 90 days, like your life will change. That's, yes. that's it. But the yes. other piece that really hit us yesterday when we were, of course, box, doing Voxer, my wife's always like, you have to tell people what Voxer is. <laughs> it's just a little walkie-talkie app. But as we're talking back and forth on the Voxer, we realized we're like, oh, I said, I said to Stacey, like, I've had these amazing coaches because we all think we have to, like, I hired a podcast coach. He's amazing. I just gave him a testimonial. I, you hire these coaches to, to figure out the program and the form, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we need those. However, what I have noticed in the last part of 2020, especially, is that whatever advice I was, I've been given where there's a formula that's like, okay, go do a live and be really excited. Anyone who messages now pull them into or comments, pull them into your messenger. And then you have one hour a day where you're going to like convert them. And it's like, I don't know about you guys, but when you're an intuitive, you just pick up on the energy. And if somebody's reaching out to me and I know that they're doing a strategy or a formula, I'm mm -hmm. like, so over it. I'm just over it. And so because I don't, then I know that I'm just a commodity for them. I'm just, I'm just a number. And so um, what I have been doing is literally whatever you're supposed to do. I just do the opposite. So if you're <laughs> supposed to, <laughs> if you're supposed to follow a formula, that's like two plus two plus two is six. Then I'm just like, oh, I'm going to start with, you know, six minus two, whatever, minus two. And we end up in the same place. But so for example, but I can just feel the energy. And so when I just do crazy things and speak Spanish on a live, or when I, go and like whatever the intuition tells me to do yeah. that's when the most people are like oh we want to join your group and we want to do this we want to do that and then it just all comes back but it's like there's a new energy and energy is going to be the currency okay 2021 100%. energy is the currency and people like us can feel that those formulas are so tired and they're so 2019 <laughs> which is now like 100 years ago <laughs> they're so pc and they're so pre-covid so pc they're so pre-covid <laughs> and like we just the one of the main main things we're doing in this group is figuring out how to just go for it in this new paradigm, this new shift, the massive paradigm shift. And there's just, there's no need for formulas anymore. And like you said, Goli, with the evidence, whenever I do it intuitively with no formula and I do something that my mind says probably is not a great idea, or I try and start strategic strategizing and all this mm -hmm. other stuff, that's the most successful. When I do it the other way, and then all these things come in, like you said, all these other things come in, more clients, more money, more of this. When I do it the other way, it's like literally like what's it called? Radio silence. Like, yeah. for example, yep. one thing I did was go do a live. 
announce your podcast and bring a prop. That was the advice I got, right? And it's great advice in, 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 the, in the world of one. So I was like really on a run and I was on a high one day and I was like, oh, this is like six months ago. And I was like, oh, I'll just grab my kids in the backyard. Like who doesn't love kids? And then I, no one commented, no one liked it, nothing. And I was like, <laughs> oh, because I'm using my freaking kids as a commodity. Like who does that, right? And <laughs> in my mind, it seems so smart. It was not intuition. It was completely like logical. And I think I'm sure, I don't know. I think the universe is very precise for me right now. And they're like, oh, when you do the formulas, we're giving you nothing. I'm like, no. Yeah. And when no, you don't yeah. do the formulas, we're going to give you gold. Like literally somebody's going to be paying us in gold. That's a whole other story. But anyways. <laughs> like what you said is that um, when I, I watched Elizabeth uh, April's uh, soul mission kind of uh, video and I sent it to you, right? And I'm like, when I saw him, like, David is such a pillar. First of all, I always keep telling him like, he's a pillar. <laughs> His superpowers holding that space for people. Yes. Wait. He also, right? But he also has this rebel side, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is like you said, right? Like, I gotta, I gotta shake things up. I did it all the <laughs> traditional ways. I got like, you know, that expertise and that like fighting the power with the power kind of thing, right? Because you're like, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I've done it, people. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Sure. And then, um, but also like a teacher, right? Like a very grounded kind of gentle teacher who's like, yes. but knows the words, you know, you kind of just say it and live it and then more stuff comes and i i see you as having like abundant energy you know what i mean and stacy like you hold space for him and and you like your words are magic i don't know how you do that flow with your words but when i had it on a recording of the intuitive warrior i was like i sent you guys the video i couldn't send it to the whole group but i was in tears and when you said that you're like you people give 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 the healers the helpers you're just giving 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 and this is your time to kind of like take and you said he did that i was like oh she does (laughs) you know like this like you know release and feeling like you're embraced by you know someone who has enough you know to to hold space for you who, who can give you back all that you know as, as children in a way we kind of want that like approval acceptance and someone who sees you for who you are and like says you matter your voice yeah. matters you do that in a very authentic way and powerful yeah. way Stacey like your words your choice the flow of it I'm like this girl thank you, like, thank you. So, I mean, it's, I it's, it's we all have it we all have it it's just that you know um we all have our secret um expression or our own expression within us all of us in our belly underneath all the piles and layers of conditioning and when you start doing the work and you open yourself up and you surround yourself with people who are embodying and are totally free, you're gonna sh- surprise yourself with what comes out of your mouth. It just, co- it just flows. And, um, but you'll, everyone will find their one thing that just is their signature thing that just, it just flows. And, um, and that's what it is. We all have that. It's just tapping into that and then surrounding yourself with people that live like that is the key. That's what I think right? because you hear all of this, like make work and play one of the same. And in my, like, you know, I'm a Capricorn. I'm always thinking like the next level and the next level. And I'm just like, you know, in my world, it'd be like doing what I love and getting like total like abundance from health, energy, finances, like all levels of like abundance flowing, doing what I love. I'm like, that would be fine. You know, like imagine a world where we all got to do that and we're all meant to be abundant. And you guys make that seem realistic it's not just it like in in this like la la land that you know i right. wish for myself and i'm like and it's also what's good for me is for the greater good it's also good for everybody else before i thought you know it's like that winner loser like you have to be the top of like you got to be the expert you got to be the top in your in your area but i'm like no people who are meant to be my people there's enough people who to that will connect with enough people you know and this other thing that's happening like wisdom and stuff like yes we had the prophets and the messengers and all these icons but now i feel like it's being dispersed i had this like vision in in meditation once that it was like the globe was like dark and there was all this like beams of light kind of like going up you know there's like a lot of them it wasn't just like one or two but but i think that's because we have this information age so we everywhere i go it's like 
find your uh, authentic voice, make your mess into your message, you know, like teach yeah. you the expert of your life. And I think that's where the shift is happening, where we're not going looking for expertise in books and in research, which is fine, but we're more drawn to the human experience, you know, the yes. human, human, like you're living it. I can relate to you. So that's why I think we need people to start sharing their stories and yes. their struggles. And I don't know about you guys' cultures, but in our culture too, it's like all about hiding, hiding the stuff. Everything's yeah. everyone's skeletons in the closet that we're so yeah. shameful about. And so when I started to share a little bit, people were like, that's so refreshing. Like, you know, so I feel like yeah. people like deeply want that truth of all of our experiences, the like human experience to come out in all its colors, not just the yeah. perky professional, like put together ones, right? right? All those masks, but just like, what's it like in your home? Are you yelling? Are you, yeah. are you like, right? with your, your kids partner? going crazy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doubting yourself in your career. Are you finding it hard to balance at all? Are you eating yeah. junk food because you didn't have time to meal prep? Or, you know, all right. of these things that, you know, we try to put on the, the front that we got it together because I need to be. So that's another thing is when I talked to David, I think it was, I'm like, I got such a low today. And I just, I, I one time canceled the call. Cause I'm like, I just, I just had a fight with my husband and I'm in tears. I can't, I can't, I can't bring your energy down. That's where I go. I'm like, I don't want to oh. bring you down cause you're already so high. Like I don't want to oh. like pull you down. And he did like the most touching like boxer back full oh. acceptance of the experience be what it is relating to me saying i i'm like that too i mean her have you know arguments and stuff like that sorry to out you a little bit david no, but you know no, we're all human beings and then yeah. you're like with with stacy and i we go back and forth when we have those days where we can't get out of bed and we feel so foggy and i'm like wow this is so important you know what i mean like that's what wakes me up i'm like, yes he's a real person you know yes. what i mean and encourages me to show up as a real person more and more yeah. you know and and then you're right about surrounding yourself with people who motivate that because you start to notice such a contrast when you get together with people who are uh, either stuck in the status quo, they're not living their passion. And like my heart starts to hurt. You know what I mean? I'm like, why? But I don't want to be that person who's like questioning and, you know, I'm like, okay, everyone's like at, at their readiness and their own pace. But then you sense when you're in a fear dynamic when people are like living their lives from a, a place of scare cities. I like when you said scare. City of scare. You're scared in a city of scare. That's feel good. I stole that from feel good. Yeah. I, <laughs> but it's like, you sense the, 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 the vibe change. You sense yourself. And when you get connected, you're like, how do I feel? And then how do I feel after this interaction, after spending time with these people? Do I feel uplifted and inspired you know that they breathe life into me like inspired me or did I feel like drained and and there's all of these I don't know energy vampires or people yes. but you need your sangha to keep refueling you and yes. I couldn't believe the offering that you guys have because I've been looking for all kinds of like next level coaching and build my programs and reach my impact to more and more people and find the way but you're those are mostly just group and again like formulaic right do this yeah. module do this module but you guys are offering like unlimited time with you on boxer like we get like yeah. you know so many touch points if you use the technical yeah. term yeah. right yeah and day yeah. To day, and this is where i've i've been wanting to like in my own practice be like people drop like you can't just see people once a week and then be like how did your week go like in therapy right Right. I wish there was some way to like keep people every day, like just even like a five minute like hit, you know, like how's it going? Check in, like lift each other up, fuel each other. So I'm like the way that you guys are offering that. I hope you go over how you're, you know, offering like what the actual offer is. But I was telling a friend, I'm like, they are giving 60 days of like daily, like, you know, access All to in. them, audio, like encouragement, plus the the group collaboration and, and then weekly Zoom lives. And then yeah. also an opening for the last like four weeks that so you can actually practice following your intuition as a group. So you can keep, you know, sharing what kind of unfolds. And so, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so it's, it's like nothing. Yeah. And on, it, on, it's, on well, we, we, the, we agreed on that because, or what it came out of us because um, we said like the first 14 is going to be like, this is the birthing of something that was so Golden. beautiful and seamless Golden. and exactly what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And so, and so we just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that we care about your day-to-day -day life. And because 
the truth is you can get all hyped up and then in two seconds your kid spills milk rotten milk all over your carpet or your beautiful rug and you're like oh my god that's my eight thousand dollar rug I'm, I'm destroyed now you know and so we want to teach you not teach you we want to remind you that your everyday life is where the wisdom is and where you implement the wisdom and so that's why it's important for us to take the next she always breaks the technology. She'll be back. Her frequency is too high. <laughs> I usually <laughs> warn crazy. people that um, apparently this happens to a lot of like Eckhart and Muji and other people that they're there. The <laughs> they break the technology. Well, while we're waiting for her to get back, one thing goalie that I was going to share is that, um, oh, Michael Beckwith was just saying that the solutions to all the problems are in a totally different realm than where we're operating right now. And so what you were saying about, you know, like there's all these problems and you're talking to people about all the problems and it's like, how do you even talk to them about it when you know that there's a whole nother realm where if you could just really tap into your inner wisdom and clear everything and just let it flow that then you would have like 5,000 solutions. So for this group, oh, now they're Sorry. Really amazing. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, Stacey, I'm just adding something and you can jump back on. Um, so Sorry for this group, that. it's like, we're going to have 90 days of this time where we're going to, we're going to get to the, cause the original name that we got from the download was that it was going to be the um, intuitive solutions group. Like literally all the solutions are intuitive and then yeah. it just kept layering and building and different, different parts. But Stacey, what were you saying? I told them that you always break the technology. I forgot to warn everybody that your frequency I can't, is too high. <laughs> this is just, this is real life. This is like, this is my real life. So yep. nothing drives me wild that much except for like technology and my kids. Those are the two things that, and my husband, those are the three things that push me over the edge. Other than that, I can manage life really well. So I want, what I was saying about the Voxer and why we're going so hardcore with it is because we want to help you get to the present moment as much as possible in the next 90 days. So if we spend time with you on Voxer for 60 days, when you just had a breakdown with your little one in the bathroom because she won't brush her teeth or whatever it is, or you, you know, your money's not coming in right, or, you know, just so much has, is going on in our lives right now. And so we just want to help you navigate your real life. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to try to make ourselves into something that we're not. And um, one thing I wanted to talk about with the no formula or hiring coaches and stuff like that real quick for anybody that's watching thinking, oh, they need a coach. I think we all need a coach for sure. Yeah. And David and I are coaches, you know, we do this for a living, but I want to be really clear about something. When you really know you can help people because you've done the work for yourself, whatever area that is. So if you're a dancer and you're a beautiful dancer and you know the beautiful moves just like that and you've practiced enough enough and you've embodied it, you don't need any marketing but your own personal touch and something that showcases what you do to attract the people because people will feel your honest energy. Yes. So the formulas, I know the formulas because I used to create them because it came out of just like, it came out of just like intuition, really my, the programs I would come up with like step one, step two, step three. But really I always wanted to teach people that I want you and I want my kids and I want everybody in the world to be able to go out in the world with no matter what, no matter who comes their way and they don't have to think about, Oh, uh, this is the answer to this. What? Uh, no, Come from the truth, mm -hmm. come from the truth and yeah. say, this is what I offer yeah. and this is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and this is how much I've practiced it. Yeah. And then let them see you, let them see your face, let them see your, the way you speak, let yeah. them see your energy and then you don't need anything. Yeah. So this course, this 90 days is about you being you. <laughs> which is <What>? new <laughs> for a lot of people because we've hidden behind. We're nervous. We're going to get fired. We're nervous. If we say this in the co the coworkers are going to be mad. You know, we've, we've been on eggshells too long and then COVID pushes us over the edge. Forget it guys. We got to go real deal or 
you know, do your own thing. But for this group, it's going to be like total real deal. And I'm not perfect at all. I'm going to look in the camera. I wish I don't know which way to look. I am not perfect at all. I have my own issues. But for the most part, I am completely living in harmony. And I know when I'm unconscious. And I know if I judge somebody, I press pause. I've done it enough, 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 enough. And I have morning rituals. And I really stick to them. And I really love people. So that is from the soul. That's who I am. And from there, the, the universe or life just shows me what I need to pay attention to. Yeah. So on March 13th, when COVID hit, my first instinct, my first intuition was gather the Shivali leaders and whatever their titles are, promote them. So if there's therapists, I need the names of all the therapists and their phone numbers. If there's child therapists, I need the child therapists. For there's coaching parenting, I need the names because I wanted to offer resources of top notch, highly conscious people to serve humanity when it is needed the most. Yeah. So this inner Sangha is going to be a, I will give everything I have yeah. for 90 days to you guys, the first 14 for believing so much in yourselves and being all in and, and following your gut. Yeah. I mean, I was, we were, we were joking about that. I'm like, it hasn't even started. And I feel like, already you're like there i'm like wow it's starting like you are (laughs) you know like no you are uh, you're there your (laughs) video yesterday was incredible anybody that's watching this watch her video right before this you will die it is so so wise so precise so use your essence yes well that's what i mean like you just like we we go for a walk i'm like the colors of these like fall autumn colors are just like take my breath away now. You know what I mean? And when I see a sunset, I'm like, I need need to get out. I have all these messages. I need to show. And then my camera, like I have like all these cracks, you know, having kids who want the phone. I'm like, it's not recording. So I have to take this off. And it was just this whole thing that I had to No, I, me too. I'm the same way. Oh my God. All the little tests, the little tests. Right, you pull over, you get this message out as it comes to you. Weren't you saying that your keys for the car, you end up in your mom's car in the last, like, uh, into a warrior uh, series? <laughs> like, why are all these things happening in the same day? Like, I do the same. I'm like, what is happening, right? And then when you ask the questions, the answers come, you know? And I think yeah. we, we don't listen enough, you know? We're just like, why me? Why? Like, there's these different levels of, like, how you perceive life as if it's happening to you or for you. <laughs> If you really want to know, they'll, their answers will come. They'll just be like little whispers at first, though. So don't get distracted with like, you know. Uh, no, that's true. Just living in the present moment, the answers come. Yeah. And if you do it enough, if you practice enough being in the present moment, then there's a flow. Yeah. So that's my challenge. I'm like, I cannot wait. You think you're going in for like, you know, building a business and and finding your programs and all of that. But it's like bringing it into my daily practice. Cause that's like that uh, imposter syndrome where you're like, I, how am I going to be helping families when I'm still losing my, <laughs> my mm-hmm. cool, like on yeah. the regular, you know what I mean? My husband's like right here. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everybody says that. And it's actually, that is it right there is that like 2021, the, the future of leadership, the future is all about authenticity. It's about vulnerability and Brene Brown. Why do you think she's a, you know, best-selling author? It's like, yeah. business. so it's going to be about like, Hey, I'm going to help you because I'm also falling apart, but I have a little more energy to help you at this moment while you're falling apart. <laughs> and so that's just kind of, that's what all it is. is. Yeah. There's, a, there's this beautiful thing I learned in, in, um, like it's called Halre Erfan, which is kind of like interuniversalism, like spiritual teachings, but it's like, all of us are here. We're all at different stages of like inner evolution or consciousness or spiritual awareness, whatever you want to call it. Right. But the whole point is not to just be like, I'm the best, I'm going to go and I'm going to like surround myself. It's actually to get to a place where you have enough in you to hold the hands because they're they're like, you know, you'll get to source, you'll get to God or whatever. And then your soul, you'll be like, well, where's everybody else? Like we can't shift. We can't make that ultimate shift until we're actually together, (laughs) you know, holding hands. And I think like authenticity is also the new currency, right? Like if you're showing... That in my story, this is what happened. These are the ways. This is the, these are the struggles, and it's not about like eradicating yelling at your kids or eradicating like you know right. chaos. But it's about right. figuring out how to be still <laughs> in the middle of all those storms yes. and like finding your breath. 
you know, as a way to get there because your breath becomes, you know, like biologically we're in that fight flight thing. And, and right now everyone's just so trigger happy. Oh yeah. yeah. Because of, because well, can you imagine if we knew this as kids, oh. you know, if our parents taught us this, yeah. our parents didn't teach us that whatever your parents did is what you do. You know, you just think that's normal to go fly off the handle or whatever it is at my house, my parents still yelling at each other. And they're, I mean, they've been married forever. And you know what I'm saying? It's just the way it was, yeah. but now you know, through learning what we've learned through conscious parenting and stuff like that. Can you imagine, and this is what I do imagine, mm -hmm. us embodying what to do when your nervous system does go crazy, which it does. And then we could teach our kids, okay, this is where you press pause. This doesn't mean you keep going. It means you pause. Yeah. Yeah. You the know, and embodying that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's another muscle that strengthens, right? Because it's so hard when you haven't been, it's not in your blueprint. It's not in your subconscious. It's not yes. my default at all. Because exactly like being raised by like authoritarian type figures, it's like, you just like, listen, and you're jolted, you know, like fear-based obedience, <laughs> you know? So that's literally my default is that when I, when I repeat myself, you know, by the fifth time, I'm like, guys, you know, so that's my yes. default. But it, yeah, that pause to be like, what does this mean to me in the middle of all this mess? And they're not going to bed. I'm like, who cares? <laughs> it's right. like, like, really? How consequential? <laughs> yeah. It, that they're not, they're going to sleep five minutes later because they want like two minutes more play and they want to That's flash, it. flashlight. Like, so it's just, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or they want to read. But I'm like, my children, it's just so humbling. I have to just share this about the children because I think the children have that those messages that we they get it. Yeah. through that purity through that innocence they're not as layered as you said Stacey with the thickness of the programming and they're they're in play you know their natural place is play and they're just creative like geniuses and they're just connected to love you know I'm like it's I, I apologize to my kids I'm like mommy was just a monster like the monster. <laughs> yes yes you know what I mean? yes I'm so yes. sorry and yes great me that like, mommy oh. you're still the best mommy in the whole world and that it just is so like being held in that I'm like how do you child with your limited life experience have this capacity to like hold natural me as the adult who's supposed to hold you and take care of you but you hold me right. in, in love yeah. and I tell him like you guys are like angels right now to me you know like you're showing me that i can accept that i yelled and still be loved you know Aww. and i think we got that you know because i you know that's where the guilt and the shame and all that comes in because you're like you want to, to be this you know stoic perfect parent and just provide all these like experiences and life possibilities and then you don't <laughs> and then you beat yourself up and so the children are there to teach us to remind us that it's okay to be human and then they express their big emotions and i'm like okay don't shut them down let it release let the mm. whole thing trust that they once the wave is over they'll come back but it's so uncomfortable you know for us to hold that space that be that container for them to yeah. like you know do their thing and, and experience but a yoga yeah. teacher once told me, she's like, you know, you, you, we all have all these aches and pains in our body and our body speaks to us, but children don't because they don't hold on. They don't. Yes, like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, and I think people think that would just be chaos if people just expressed what they need to express, you know, but I don't think we would need to go to the levels of like violence and aggression and threats and all these things. If we felt heard at the initial stage. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. So one we of the things we're going to do, I think we should wrap up, but one of the things we are going to do, one of the other offering part pieces of the offering is that each person will be profiled on Heart of the Matter and our social media, which is like 8,000 people at this point. And so I'm like so excited when we get to do that for you. Kind of like people are going to fall, they're probably already falling in love with you, but like when we really profile you and like, I'm just like, That's they're going to love her. Yeah, like which social, like which program offers like showcasing of you, <laughs> you know, I'm like, they, that's like the epitome of believing in somebody is that you're willing to like, you know, go to, go to bat and like oh, yeah. show and, and vouch for someone. Because we know who's, whoever's coming in are all divinely being handed to us. So yeah. we don't have to worry about anything. It's not like, Literally. it's just coming in in flow seamlessly. People are dropping in. The nicest people. I can honestly say every, all nine people and like the other 10 that are looking, the nicest hardworking givers in the world and it's so it's beautiful to witness 
I feel like it's like this gift that's going to be like opened up when we have our first <laughs> Zoom, you know? Like, it's, a, it's like the big reveal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Jazz right, hands. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. And thank you for taking the time and just being authentic and open and you're awesome. Thanks, David. Hey, we'll talk thank soon. You. Thank you, Stacey and David. Bye, Goldie. All right, bye. Bye.